Welcome back. We're at McSwiney Semple Hank and Burke and Wood on Main Street in New London. Joining me now is Nicole Berthume. She is the director of the after school programs with Camp Coniston. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. Tell us a little overview about what y'all do there. Sure, so we run after school programs in three towns in the area. So okay. we run in New London, Plainfield, and Sunapee. Mm -hmm. um, we run from the end of the school day until 6 p.m. Oh, nice. Kindergarten until fifth, to fifth grade. Mm -hmm. um, 12, or $12 a day. And <gasps> $12 a day? Yeah, we try That's to keep so it low affordable. for our families. Yeah. Yes. And we try to keep a 10 to one child to staff ratio, which we're proud of because the state mm. recommends 15 to one, so we keep it, keep our low numbers um, and we just offer you know outdoor play snack homework help and great oh, activities nice. inside what a great thing for the parents yeah. because after a long day at work to come home and have to do all those things yeah. that their kids are happy and fed they have some of their homework done yeah. and we try to listen to what our, our parents say um, and we've heard a lot that they would like their homework done and yes <laughs> We got a lot when I first started here about our snacks and eating well. So one of yes. our, the things that we've been improving um, and following the YMCA HEPA standards, which is healthy eating, physical activity, um, is getting healthier snacks, getting more active, helping to maybe educate our children a little bit more, maybe families if we get the chance, and growing healthier mm -hmm. um, kids and families. So one way we're doing that is getting fridges in our after school programs to do whole foods and vegetables. And that's wow. been a focus the past couple of years, getting healthier. That's terrific. Yeah. yeah so that's one of the changes. You and I yeah. spoke about two years ago when it was just getting off the ground. Yeah. That's a change you have. Anything else? Yeah. That you've seen? Sure. We, um, we've been working really hard with our staff and we have dedicated, knowledgeable staff. And one of the ways that we've been kind of encouraging them is more training and having training once a month and orientation and doing going to meetings and meeting with other professionals in mm -hmm. the field. Right. Um, and we partner with Across New Hampshire, which is um, a, an organization in the state who helps out of school, school time staff gain any experience, knowledge, any program right. knowledge, anything. So right. we um, we do our trainings through them, and they've really helped us, you know, meet our mission and and move forward to making sure that we are leading children led led programs and making sure that the kids are getting the care that they need and gaining all of the knowledge outside that we may need. That's great. Yeah. You sounds like you're partnering with, with so many. I've heard YMCA and then I've heard this organization. Any other partners involved? We um, excited to share that. A couple of years ago we partnered with Dartmouth Research and they did some they did two research um, projects with us where uh -huh. they were studying sleep habits in elementary age children and then they studied um, Act activity time with after school children. So it's interesting to keep up to date with across in Dartmouth and find out all this knowledge that's going on and learn more so we can better help our children and um, reach them in a way that re they really are interested in, in being with us after school. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's such great information for Dartmouth to have. They can yeah. just come to your one of your three locations and get so yeah. much information that it's so nice because it gives back to other kids because that information that they've gained can help other programs other kids yeah hopefully that's super yeah so um if people are looking at the program for next year mm -hmm. what would be the best thing to do so for next school year we'll start opening registration in may mm -hmm. and so i'll send out registration material to my current um families yes. and then it'll open up right on the website they can download the forms and send them in mm -hmm. as soon as possible because we do fill up this past year we had a wait list for our Me after too. school program okay. so um, send it back in and I'll give a confirmation email and uh, we'll get, get the ball rolling but we're, we leave it open throughout the summer until we're full and then start the wait list. Okay and about how, how many kids are in each of the programs? There are 50 in New London and a five zero? Yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. And we, we had to add another staff Good member and, and more kids yeah. this year uh -huh. um, because of the wait list. And then in Sunapee 20 and Plainfield 20. Super. Yeah. Well, we have your contact information up on the screen. This is the time of year when people are thinking about the next school year. Right. So it's yes. great to have your contact information, but they better sign up quickly because yeah. with those numbers, <laughs> you're very popular. Yeah. So, well, good job. You've done a wonderful job, Thank Nicole. Thank you so much. Thank We're you so really much. Proud of it. It's a great service to our area. Thank you. Take care.